Hi. Welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a while, but uh, I was going through some realizations of my life and my goals of life and what exactly I want to do with my life, <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, I took a break. Um, I realized I do want to do YouTube more seriously and just try my best and see how it goes. There's nothing to lose, so yeah. I the reason for it is because I know we're not gonna be here forever in in the world, and I want to leave some memories of me, maybe for my friends, family, for my grandchildren. Eh, probably that's it, honestly. <laughs> honestly, nobody's gonna remember us in the world in like in 500 years for sure. So it's kind of crazy how we so so scared of other people's opinions and what people think of us and what we do. And I don't know. I I feel kind of trapped. Sometimes I'm trying to let that idea go. I think I'm doing much better now because of just the way you think mentality and figure out what you want to do that you enjoy, not like other people enjoy. There's a there's definitely a a good point when you should care about other people when you care for your family friends and I feel like you're part of society where you contribute and help instead of harming so it is very important to make sure that you are useful for society and not being harmful and not bring the world down I mean some some people's philosophy is to hurt someone and they enjoy that that's called psychopaths or sociopaths but like majority of people are normal at least I want to know that or believe that and it is important that we take care of each other take care of yourself because if you cannot take care of yourself you cannot take of take care of others that's what my stepdad always says. Uh, coming back to insecurities, I realize that everyone is insecure. Nobody's perfect and you cannot figure out how to stop caring what other people think. It's our human nature, our instincts to survive and thrive as a, as a society. So again, there's expectations for psychopaths sociopath or some people because they're a little different or special but usually everyone cares everyone um, good examples are I would say one of my best friends um, he does not care what other people think about him but he cares about his work and people judging his work which is very understandable it's you putting something so valuable to you and something that is so sincere to you to the world and people might disagree or think that it's trash <laughs> same same things that I'm making videos for because I mean hopefully I'm gonna reach that point where uh, my videos are very good but the only way to make something perfect is through practice and failing a lot of times throughout the process and honestly it's very underrated how the process is not as fun usually to other people but if you think about it it's very rewarding when you do something throughout the process of achieving your goal and you feel that you're accomplishing something so I feel like that's 
a very a great reason to think that way because it'll help you in the process and a lot of times we forget forget about this like all the I'll say all the advice that I try to give to other people I forget myself with the most important parts of my life and I guess it's just again like I said before practice you gotta make it practice makes it perfect so you gotta go through trials and errors and figure out how to properly use the techniques and philosophy. Another example I'll give my brother. He's a professional model. Like he's very very attractive. And he's still insecure in the way he looked, which is fucking crazy. Because you think models are they know they're beautiful. They're perfect. But for them, because we're so critical of ourselves, they still see the small insecurities in themselves or the imperfect parts of them that makes them insecure. And I feel like that could be freeing to other people. It could bring it might not might do the opposite, but I think it's very interesting why as humans we are not perfect and it's part of being human is trying to achieve that being trying to achieve the perfectionism of, as a human but obviously we have flaws and uh, meditation by Descartes he said that humans are not perfect only God is perfect and God made this world imperfect because if God is perfect and the world is perfect and everything is perfect then there's no way to see the difference between each other and the unique individuals that are not perfect are special because of that the reason why we're imperfect and I don't know if people listen to this or even care about my opinions but I don't know it helps me honestly it makes me happy to think that I'm creating something that could help someone else to do or to create something themselves and it's good to share your thoughts and feelings I feel like as a kid, I was not very talkative, very shy as a person, and I love to speak my mind now. I also understand that other people didn't have, I mean, they had the same childhood, childhood as I did, so I like to listen to them and see their joy in their eyes that they can speak to someone, and I want to say I'm a very good listener. I enjoy hearing people out and see the, their part of life because we're so different and yeah, I, that's why I love journaling, it just helps you clear your mind, figure out what's the problem because it's really hard to keep everything in your head because our brain is so complicated and journaling Journalism helps you put everything in a different perspective and it will clear your mind and it will clear the problem that you face and you'll have a clear answer and solution to it. So I love journalism, I love vlogging, I love making videos.